Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Maniac Mansion. This is Mysterious JG again, and uh, let's pick up right where we left off. Which was that we had just knocked over a bottle of developer flu- wait a minute. I need to load a game, don't I? Sorry. Okay, Godos Box, please stop making those noises. I'm trying to upload a video as I play, that might be a mistake. Meantime, our gal pal Wendy is has a face that blends in with part of the background, and uh, you know, have fun ma um, making little comments about how Davis' face blends into the background. I'm not gonna get offended or anything, you know. This is one of my favorite games from my childhood, but I'm not gonna get defensive if you, you know, make little disparaging comments about it because I didn't make the game myself. But I mean, I'd just like to point out. You know, DOS game and um, better graphics than the version that we had on my computer as a kid. Anyway, very dull knives. Let's pick up the very dull knives. They're glued to the wall, folks. What else? Yep, somebody mentioned that the chainsaw is an awesome item. That they didn't see why we didn't use it to get through every single puzzle. Let's uh, go back to Dave and I'll quick show you why we don't use it to get past every single puzzle. Turn on chainsaw. I think it's out of gas. Yes, folks, the chainsaw is out of gas. And you will spend the entire game looking for gas for the chainsaw. There is no gas for the chainsaw, folks. You never get to use the chainsaw. They throw it in. They make it a pickable, upable item just to mess with you. Meanwhile, let's get back upstairs. Because now we've got fruit drinks I and a can of Pepsi. I think we ought to be able to get past the purple tentacle, green tentacle, excuse me, with one of those two. Oh, don't tell me you're going to have to use this door thing again. Great. Have to do the door thing again. I did not think I was going to have to do the door thing again, so I'm not prepared for this. Uh, hold on a second, folks. Okay, folks, I think it says, uh, dot black uh, vertical oh, was it dot or black now after that? G7, uh, black vertical dot. Oh, I think, thank goodness. Because even the scanned version of, crackle, 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 even the scanned version that I've got is kind of difficult to read. So, fruit drinks versus can of Pepsi, I don't know that it makes a difference which one you give them. I don't think either one of them are useful in another puzzle. But we've got the can of Pepsi close to hand, so let's, uh, let's, uh, I'm trying to think what of a Pepsi slogan I can reference, and I'm drawing a blank. Where's my drink? Give can of Pepsi to Green Tentacle. No thanks, it makes me burp. Ah, oh, you dick. Well, if you get the can of Pepsi, you get the fruit drinks. They're right down there in the same uh, leg of the house. So let's give fruit drinks. Oh, you know what? You do need the Pepsi for another puzzle. I just remembered which one. Thanks. And now he ignores us. Okay. Well, at least he said thanks. What is lovely plant? Pull lovely plant. I can't move it. Pick up lovely plant. I can't pick that up. It's this is an early example of a game with humor in it, folks. There's an item called the lovely plant. They could have just called it the plant, or a potted plant, they called it lovely plant. Because it's lovely. 
Oh, we're playing the In the Dark game again. I might be wondering why I don't just frickin' uh, use the old batteries in the flashlight. Old batteries have very limited uh, life. And I don't remember how you get new batteries. I'm pretty sure you can get new batteries, but I don't remember how. There's the red light. Let's turn on the red light. You don't have to turn on the red light. I yeah, know it's put on the red dress, but... This is the room where we develop photographs. If we have Michael, the black dude who is a photographer guy, we don't have him. So we're not doing a whole lot with this place, I would think. Those drawers are locked. Let's get out of here. Okay, so uh, let's continue along with our exciting adventure. Green Tentacle is gone. He will be back in Thunderball. Let me pull up my camp studio window so I can see how much time I'm at. Plenty of time left, folks. Only about a quarter of the way through this video. Although this, I definitely feel like I should save my game here. We're on a new floor. And I believe this is the residential floor where the weird characters who will try to get us all hang out. Let's start out. This door. What have we got in here? We've got uh, a dime. Let's pick up the dime. Good. We've got a wanted poster. Let's read the wanted poster. Wanted for terrible acts of violence one murderous purple slimy meteor. Okay. Get found called 1977. Remember that, folks. That could be important. What is picture of first nurse Edna? Let us pull the picture of first nurse first nurse. It's firmly attached to the wall. What is a tube socket and a radio? Let's turn on the radio. Let's see what that does. Turn your radio on. I can't get it to work. It might be missing a part. Yep, that's what the tube socket's there for. Looks like we're going to have to find a cathode ray tube for this thing. That technology is, in fact, older than the video game Maniac Mansion. Oh, if I don't miss my guess, it looks like we're in Dr. Ted's room. Dr. Fred. I don't know why Dr. Fred doesn't share a room with Nurse Edna. I thought they were supposed to be married, but... Now we're in, like, the rocking room with the giant speakers, dude. Yeah. Read poster. It says, I'm a rocker. Tour 86. See Ron Gilbert live at the forum. <laughs> oh, I'm so depressed. I'm never going to get my band started. <laughs> Green Tentacle. My life is going nowhere. I'm never going to amount to anything. Eating all that food didn't even help. Yes, the green tentacle monster lives in his parents' attic, and he eats when he gets depressed, and he's depressed because he wants to start a rock band, and he doesn't have the self-confidence to do it, folks. Hey, but we got... Ooh, does that... Or a, a, is that a record that I see? I think that's a record. Let's pick up record. We know where there is a... Uh, a mom... That's nice. Read picture. To my slimiest son, love mom. This is the Mondo stereo. There's a Disco Sucks poster. There's nothing to read on it. It says Disco Sucks. I can see it, Wendy. Is her name Wendy? I think her name is Wendy. Ooh, and there is a yellow key. Let's pick up the yellow key, if it'll let us. Okay, there's no other puzzle to solve. We are able to take the uh, yellow key. Let's give a uh, tentacle chow to the green tentacle, see if that helps his mood.
I'd better get closer? You were right on top of them. Give tentacle chow to green tentacle. And he takes it and nothing happens. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a glitch. He can take the green he can take the tentacle chow. That's one of the foods you can give him to get past him when he's in that hallway, or to get him to let you pass it. What the mm. Daddy's been acting very strangely ever since the secret project in the lab. Okay, I can read me. Yeah, so Well mommy, I'm worried about him. He hasn't been at dinner for five years. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so? I think she's in denial. And he's been bringing those bodies down to the basement late at night. What's your point, Ed? Eh, I'm a very busy lady. Busy doing what? Oh, poor weird Ed. Never mind. He's just a giant mutant freak who wants to help his dad. Weird Ed is, in fact, a much more sympathetic character than uh, Nurse Edna or Dr. Fred, but I'm so depressed. Yeah, he will occasionally repeat himself to you to make sure that you know what's going on with him. If you have Sid or Razor in your, your group, I think you can, like, actually... Uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll showcase this in a bonus video, but yeah, when they, when they make music, they can, like, pl make a song that will, like, you know... Green Tentacle will be like, you, you rock, or whatever. I don't remember exactly how it works. Okay, well. We've got things that I want to try out, but, um... Oh, me just my feet before my legs fall asleep here. All right, legs before my feet fall asleep, sorry. No, we've got stuff that I want to try out, but I also, um... We haven't run out of places to, to look yet. So we will eventually hit a point where... We can't get to new places without solving a puzzle. We haven't quite got there yet. This is not a game like the Goblins game. I've watched Kikoski's LP of Goblins 2 and 3, which seemed like a pretty fun game and all, but yeah, they very much like, they have one screen full of self-contained puzzles. This game isn't like that. You can wander around all over the place and figure out what's, try to figure out what's going on. Now I'm going to move my cursor. I need to be ready to run, if I remember this correctly. Ah, an unwelcome visitor! Run! 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 She will chase you. She said something I couldn't see. I believe she will not chase me any further. I think this is the end of her chasing me. Okay. So, we've established that that's Nurse Edna's room. Good to know. You'll have noticed during that cute little sequence there, she and Dr. Fred sleep in separate rooms. She has hearts all over her wallpaper and a cracked glass in the mirror. So, you know, take that for, you know, what it's worth. I believe this is Weird Ed's room. I believe that was the sound of someone ringing the doorbell. So let's get down. Let's get down there before Weird Ed does. Again? Yeah, I think we might be kind of screwed here, actually. Run! Run! I do not want to switch characters. I do not remember who is closer than she is to Intruder or Alt. I'm trying to. We have to get to the front door before Weird Ed does because I believe there is a plot essential item to be had. This section, running away from Weird Ed, would be significantly easier if we had a mouse. Or rather, if we had a mouse that worked. I think the fact that Weird Ed couldn't catch us there might have glitched him out, and he's just going to hang around in there. Or go back to his room. Instead of heading down to where he actually was going to go. So, that's an interesting little unintended side effect. We are going to manage to uh, get this package before Weird Ed can. 
As a kid, folks, I used to just like dash out of the way and let Weird Ed get the package because I didn't want to get captured and thrown in the dungeon. But it's like actually important that you get the package before he does. Yes, here we are. Now, what is package? What is stamps? Stamps are key, folks. Remember how that publisher? Remember the commercial with that publisher? Um, hmm, they're uncancelled. Yep, that's key. That's critical. That would be illegal to open the package. Oops, so I want to pick up the package. Do I have the package in my inventory now, or did I just screw up by selecting open package? I have the package. It will not allow me to open the package. So, who knows what weird Ed actually ordered. We don't. Because... Wendy is way too upstanding and good to open a package isn't for her. Meantime, we've gone over 15 minutes, but I don't quite feel like stopping it, so let's keep at it for a little bit longer. She's blending into our natural environment, is Wendy. Is the water warm enough, Lisa? Yes, Wendy. Unless it's the other way around, and I'm forgetting it. Okay, the door is still open, so you do not have to repeat this whole thing again. Just yet. I got the yellow key. I haven't checked to see what that unlocks yet. Because I haven't finished exploring. I think once we explore this floor up here, uh, we'll have hit the point where we need to start solving puzzles before we can get anywhere. So I hope your brains are worrying, folks. You've seen all these different rooms where we can't quite figure out where to go. We've got keys that might unlock something. I mean, I can check in here. I can use... This whole room it seems... I think I remember this is pretty worthless if you don't have the kid who knows how to use... Uh, you know, how to develop pictures. Use key and file drawers. That doesn't seem to work. Okay. So it's not the key to those file drawers. It might be the key to that door in the pantry. In the room where we knocked over the developer fluid. We have not actually found any kind of sponge. A sponge might be useful. We may, uh, I don't think there's any reason not to do this, but I might run into trouble with, um, not being fast enough to pull this off without the use of a mouse or a joypad. I, I cannot figure out how to play d this game. I've tried playing around with it. It's just not working. That's why I'm using the keyboard for everything. But, um, I'm going to try to give the package to Weird Ed. What are you doing in my house? It gives you a second. Oh, good. Oh, my commando package. This package apparently isn't wearing any underwear. Now you have to find me my plans. I lost them somewhere. You see, the evil meteor has turned my father into a madman. The CD meter for my father to manage. I must break into the lab and save him. But I need my commando package and plans, but I lost them. Come back when you have what I need. Hello, my cute little hamster. He has a pet hamster. That's adorable. Ah, this is Weird Ed's room. We can now apparently go in here safely. It has like an X-Wing fighter toy. Sorry. He's got a fighter jet model. He's got an X-Wing. Strategic commando cart. A bed. He's got a hamster. Uh, I do not think he will kill you if you just pick up, or you try to pick up the hamster. I think he will. What are you doing? But he will stop you. You're not supposed to touch that. Okay. What? 
Too bad you weren't on my side. Okay, so you can't even try to pick it up without getting uh, thrown in the dungeon. I thought you could attempt to pick it up and he would just stop you. So let's quick load the game, get him back on our good side, and, uh, you know, although at some point we're going to end up trapped in that dungeon, so who the hell cares, but... Let's get him on our good side by giving him the damn package. Give... What are you doing in my house? Package to... Are you an agent? Are you an agent of the evil meteor? Are you here to help me defeat him? Oh, my commando package. See, now we have proved ourselves to Weird Ed. Now we have to help him find his plans. I lost them somewhere. What is pennant? See the yeah, blah blah blah. Okay, thank you, Weird Ed. We 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 know the story. I must break into his lab and save him. I need my commander pack your plans, but I lost them. Are you even listening to me? <laughs> it's a piggy bank. We need to break that piggy bank to get a quarter. We do not want to do that when Weird Ed is in the room with us, or he will throw us in the dungeon. Same as he will if we mess with this frickin' hamster. Weird Ed will throw you into the dungeon if you do almost anything to upset him. With one exception, there is one thing you can do which will cause him not to throw you into the dungeon, but to kill you. I'll show you what that is eventually, folks. But for right now, we're going to save our game, and we're going to come back later. We've still got a couple more rooms to explore before we've seen everything we can't see without solving some more puzzles. But um, we're getting pretty close to where I could potentially get stuck. Although, as I'm playing this, I'm starting to think I'm going to remember all the puzzles. As I'm seeing items in the game, it's jogging my memory pretty well. But uh, yeah, hopefully there will be some some help and assistance that you, the viewers at home, can provide. And uh, even if you can't, and you're just watching me play the game, I hope you're still having a good time. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time.